forget that uh, a part of the beautification of Harlem, but the real reason is my landlord want to get back this permit and kick me out. So if I don't want to remove the plants, two trees and some light, my lease will be broke. So I have no choice. I have to take it off. But I want to make it public. I don't want to make it discreetly because I want you guys to know why did I take this off. I want you guys to know how greedy landlords can do to push out tenants. Here in Harlem, it's a community. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy to see today that I was right to, to be happy to be in this community because I feel your support. You're here to support me. And this is Harlem. I'm so happy to be here. And I don't want to move. I don't want to lose what I create here. So I will remove the plant and the light. But you know, you know how I feel with that. But thank you for yeah. your support. Marsha R. Bonner, better known in the community as Marsha Hubs. Um, I am a, a founder of the Hubs Movement and also a community advocate here. Um, as I would also like to say, a community collaborator. This is an extremely important issue. It is just not about the lights that um, Al has been asked to shut off. It is the lights in our hearts. It is the lights in our minds. When we walk through the areas of Apollo, this restaurant has contributed to the beautification of what we now stand for. We are a diverse community. We understand that together we can make a difference. It is important for you to be here. It is important for the lights to shine in harm. Um, I was singing a song earlier today. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This is what we do. This is how we sound. Yes, Al, we love you. We want you to stay here. We want people to understand that the lights is just a di diversion to the real issue at hand. The issue at hand is that small business owners in the Harlem community are being challenged to keep some things that they have built. They have built it for themselves. They have built it for us. They have built it for our children. We will not go down silently, not for you or not for any other small business owner in this community. Can't be we silent. shall rise. We shall Can't be not silent. be silent. This little light of mine, I'm, I'm going to let it shine. shine. Thank you so much. I love Thank you. you. I love you. knows who Alain is. He is one of the angels of Harlem. This beautiful, wonderful man gives back to our community. He gives money, he helps people, he helps homeless kids, he helps everyone in this community. He's made Harlem beautiful, beautiful. Let him stay, please. The lights are a diversion, yes. Thank you, Martha. Thank you, Alain. We love you. You are wonderful.
people are moving into the community and they're upping the rents and they're starting to take over the mom and pop type businesses and move them out because they're not they're not able to stay any longer because the rents are just too high. So Alon has a lease, and I know his lease is at least another six, four years. Yes. We want to make sure that he's here a lot longer than that. Yes. So as long as we continue to support him, we know he'll be here. Let the word go out. Tell your friends, your neighbors. Make sure we know that we have this lovely French restaurant, this fine French man, yeah. and we're going to stay here and support him. <laughs> of the Mount Morris organization and I've been in this community for uh, almost 20 years now. I was here before when this was a beauty salon and I've been here now since the salon has been here. This is my living room. Yes, Where will yes. I go if I can't come over here? I mean, we come here for birthdays. We come here. I was here the other night, just sat out here for four hours. Four hours I sat out here. The salon was so hospitable and he's always hospitable. Where else can you go where there's a business you the minute you walk in yeah. the door always has something nice to say and that is what this community is it's a lawn and places like him I, I know that there's a lot of money to be made at some point at some point there has to be something more important now I mean everybody says that the lights is not a big deal I think yeah. it is a big deal because it's his money that he put out to put those right. lights in to beautify our community it, was, it didn't come from the landlord. It's something that he paid for personally because he wanted to help to beautify and make this place more like home for the rest of us. So, Alon, I just want you to know I'm with you. All of these people are with you, and there will be a lot to be said if you are not here. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Right. Hey, Alon. Hi, I'm Musa Jackson, and I just want to say I was honored to know this man from the very beginning. I met Alon when he had a vision, and the vision was this, this space. He said he told me I wanted to create a space where you could come into my home, and that's exactly what he's done. And I know what that's like because I grew up in Harlem, okay? I was born here. I was born around the, around the block. I'm over 50, for anybody who doesn't know. My family's been here since 1919. So I've seen this when we weren't even allowed to be on Lenox Avenue. We weren't allowed to be in Marcus Garvey Park because it wasn't a place for this type of activity. And now Harlem is changing. Alon is one of the main contributors of that. I run an events production company, born in Harlem, and he has always supported everything that any one of us have done. We call him any time of day, and Alon is there. He's given us free drinks. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? But he's shared his home and his space because this is our home. And we love you, man. We got you. You should be able to have it the way that you want it. Okay, I've seen it when it wasn't good and I know what it's it's better now. And it's better because of people like you. You're a small business and you should be here. We're gonna support you. We're gonna continue to support you regardless of the lights or not. Okay? Love you, man. Thank you. All right. Singleton. I am not only someone that comes here every Sunday for brunch that gets here about two o'clock and doesn't leave until it closes, mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, I am also a Harlem resident. I was a little girl that grew up right across the street. I've been in Harlem for 47 years, so I've seen the transition. I've seen when there were no lights. I've seen when you didn't really want to be walking back and forth and to and from, and I'm so grateful that I can come here and I can reminisce on what it used to be, but I'm so proud of what it is now. Mm -hmm. And I'm grateful to this man who opens the doors, who not only feeds us, but when people are walking by who are hungry, he will give them a plate of food. He will open the doors for everyone. This is a place for the community. Sherry has become our home. When you walk through those front doors, that living room setting becomes your living room. That kitchen becomes your kitchen. That bathroom is open to you when you need to use it. This man has made it our home. So I'm not just speaking as someone who is just a supporter, but I am part of this family now. So that place where I used to live across the street, this is my second home right here. 
So, Alon, you know I love you. And I'm going to stand next to this man from now until we win the fight. Yes. How are you? How are you doing? I'd like to talk about the character of this person. He'd been in, he had opened this restaurant about maybe about a month, and then it was Mother's Day, right? He didn't know the tradition of Mother's Day that it brings everybody out to come and have a meal, brunch, or whatever. So me and my group, we were there. And we sat, and we sat. And so then Eileen came over and he said, I have to apologize. I did not know I was gonna have this group of people on this Sunday. And my kitchen is slow. I've had to order more food. So will you accept this bottle of champagne and these hors d'oeuvres until your meal is ready? So, then he comes with a second bottle of French champagne. <laughs> and I was just so impressed and touched by that, that he acknowledged, yes, I am uh, challenged right now, but I'm gonna do right by the people who are here. And this made me a number one client, friend, ally, and he's done the same with me always been there for the community activities that are sponsored in this neighborhood. Uh, he's been there to offer his support during the Mount Morris House Tour, during the Markets Garvey Park Alliance, art shows. Uh, he's been there. Um, and for that reason, I want him to stay here because this is a rare person indeed. And he has contributed to the ambiance and the flavor of this neighborhood. And for him to leave, would, I would, it would be a miss. And we would all be at a loss. My name is Valerie Bradley. I've been here for 37 years. I'm co-founder of uh, the Marcus Garvey Park Alliance and president of Save Harlem now. Let's save Harlem. Yes. He's yes. Part of it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Michael Henry Adams, the historian. Now you've heard a little bit of the history of Elaine and all that he's done for the community. What you will not have heard is the history of how did this happen? Things don't happen for no reason. This happened because of the person who owns this building, Terry Lane. Terry Lane used to be the head of the empowerment zone. He used to be the head of the empowerment zone. But in heading the empowerment zone, what did he do for Harlem? Who benefited when he had it the empowerment zone? Primarily, Terry Lang benefited. And that is what he's trying to do now. He is not satisfied with getting more rent than he ever got in the old days when he first purchased this building. He wants to get more and he will do any dirty low down thing he can to get it, including dimming these lights. The Red Roosters copied these lights. They're so beautiful. So we cannot allow people who do not live here, who do not have our interest at heart, to dictate to us what is beneficial for us. We cannot let the Terry Langs of the world become vampires who feed off of the lifeblood of Harlem and who destroy and diminish what we have and value and enjoy merely so that they can make even more money than they already have. This is despicable, and this is what is killing not just Harlem, but all of New York. All that people care about is making more and more money. Look at what they are doing, destroying the buildings of Harlem. Look at these new apartments on Lenox Avenue and 7th Avenue. Is that Harlem? Is that what you want this place to be like? This building has been preserved, and he has restored it with a wonderful facility, a wonderful restaurant, and that is what we want to support and to uphold and to encourage. So we cannot allow 
the people who want to victimize and to exploit Harlem to do it. We cannot let them win. We support Elaine. There's no talk about if he is gone, when he is gone. He will not be gone. We will not let it happen. We have the power. We can make it happen. And we will make it happen. We will still be sitting here dining at Cherry when Terry Lane is on the Riviera. <laughs> This guy here, everybody knows this is my brother. And I may cry, and you may cry, but what he's created here is incredible. I've heard the term living room. This is everybody's living room. I heard somebody say they sit here for four hours. I've sat here for 10 hours. And he just keeps coming and talking to you. It's nothing about a table turn. It's, it's just, it's a comfortable place. It's an incredible, thriving business. I'm looking through this crowd. Can all the, the small business owners raise their hand? This is incredible, the number of small business owners that are out here now, when they should be in their small business running it. But they're out here to support because they know if it's happening to him, it's coming to them. And right. it's not fair. It's The things that have been created up here, they're just incredible. You know, I don't know the last time I shopped in a big box store right in a chain restaurant. Why? 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 Everybody has to answer that question. Why? There's no reason for it. These are these are comfortable places. You owners are here and they should remain here. This doesn't need to turn into a Chipotle. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. You know? It just why? That's all I have to say is why. Thank you. I'm Mike Strange, um, the founder and writer of the Electric Classic Gentleman. This gentleman right here is not only a friend of all of us, but he's a Alan and Sherry is an integral part of our community. He came here three years ago and he opened his doors to each and every one of us. The community immediately embraced him. And I cannot imagine <coughs> Sherry not being here at all, ever again. It would be a big void right here on Lennox Avenue, okay? I mean, when I come in, I feel like I'm in my own living room whenever I come to Sherry. I bring friends, family, and clients here because I want them to feel what I feel, being at home, feeling comfortable. Everyone in this community loves Alan the way he loves us. I want to keep the lights on. Yeah. I want to get the lights on. tell you that this man right here, oh my God, what a life loving, giving person. And I can say that because I live here. This is my house. On Sundays, this is my yes. house. Yes. I come here every Sunday. It is the highlight of my week to be able to sing for the jazz brunch. I love it. I love sharing the love. It flows from him through me to the other people to the audience, and it's a wonderful family. Thank you. And sometimes Thank he sings. Yes. 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 So we're gonna fight. We're gonna fight. We're gonna keep the lights on. Yes, we we're gonna keep the lights on. We're gonna keep the lights on. Yes. 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 Washing over, but we have to have that tenacity 
and cling on because uh, the only thing we have is ourselves. So uh, I'm here today to support Alan because uh, it rings very true that what happened to Alan today can happen to someone of the business owners who are around tomorrow. And I think togetherness is very important for all of us and creating this community that we love so much and uh, having uh, values that are higher than just greed and, and money and big box stores coming and walking and turning this into uh, just another bleak gray neighborhood of New York that you've seen so many of. I think it's important to prevent that. So I really think we should work for that. Thank you. I really like, I really like the, the image of the crab on the rock. Actually, now I feel like a crab, and you are my you, you are my bro. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Good evening, everyone. I'm John Lynch. I'm here as a friend and supporter of Alain, who I've known since before he opened the restaurant. This is a part of a war on small businesses in Manhattan, in Harlem. There's no question about it. As all of you know, well, as some of you know. I work on Community Board 10 in Central Harlem, and any of the businesses that come to us, the first thing we ask is, what are you gonna give back to Harlem? If you want our support, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna hire? Are you gonna make the community safe? Are you gonna add to the economic development? This man has given so much back to this community in terms of charity work, helping all who need to be helped, hiring, Another issue with small businesses, you see how his business is set back from the sidewalk. It's an issue on the avenues of Harlem. You, you don't have visibility. You can't draw people to the block into the neighborhood if we can't see you. By putting up his lights in these trees, he beautifies the area. He makes this block safer. He's bringing light. He makes it safe to walk down this step. And he allows people to know he is here. And that is the point. We need people to know, we need to support the business, we need people to know they're here, we need the, the, the crowds to come, we need to keep the streets safe, we need to support this man, and we need to save small businesses in Harlem and throughout New York City. Thank you. Sherry, 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 Sherry. 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 